Siri is one of the most popular features of the iPhone, but here's how to make it better. Ever since Siri was introduced with the iPhone 4, Siri has become one of the most popular and indispensable parts of the iPhone, and more specifically, iOS, but more so for iPhone, because it is something that's always on, and if you're like me, you're using Siri through your earphones. Now you can have a regular headset, or in this case, AirPods, and you double tap it to talk to Siri. But one thing I can't do, because I'll have my iPhone, let's say, in my holster, on my waist, and I often use apps like Pandora, iHeartRadio, or Audible. You can't launch them. If I double tap it and I say, launch Audible, it will then say, you have to unlock your phone first. Why is it that I have to unlock my iPhone to launch something as simple as Audible, or as iHeartRadio, or Pandora, or Spotify, or any of a number of audio-only apps? So, the point of today's idea of the day is that Apple needs to add a feature called a Siri whitelist that essentially allows you to uh, classify certain apps as being harmless to use without unlocking your device. There, in fact, even aside from Siri, you should be able to swipe over and launch any of a number of apps that are deemed safe and that pose no security risk if somebody gets access to them without unlocking the device. Now, specifically, launching things that are audio only would be perfect because you don't have to take your phone out. If you're a woman, you don't have to take it out of your purse and you're paired to your car. You should be able to launch Audible or Pandora, any of those audio apps, just by saying launch Pandora, launch iHeartRadio. And that's today's idea of the day. All right. So that's today's idea of the day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day. Every day. Yeah, some of them don't suck. And, and don't forget to subscribe. And you can see them here every day. Brand new one. And, and some of my videos don't suck either. <laughs>